Yo, Darius Pitt here. We gotta talk about camera bags. You know, if you do this filmmaking thing long enough, you collect a lot of stuff. And then there becomes a time when you gotta get a bag to carry all that stuff around and nobody has to tell you when that time comes. Like, you know when that time comes. It's like knowing you gotta take a piss. Recently, I purchased two new camera bags, but before I tell you guys like which bags I got, I wanna like fill you in on my like journey with camera bags. When I bought my first camera, my Canon 60D, back in the day, I needed a camera bag, so I purchased one at Best Buy. It was a run-of-the-mill Canon camera bag. I paid 50 or 60 bucks for it. It held up for seven years. I'd say I got my money's worth. However, when I bought my fourth lens, I noticed something. I don't have enough compartments for all these lenses. And it only got worse. Next, I bought this case from a friend of mine for 50 bucks. And there's one problem. It's big, it's clunky, and who wants to carry a case like this around? I didn't use it much for obvious reasons. It just got in the way, and I wasted 50 bucks. When I got the DJI Osmo and a few accessories, I never purchased an official camera bag for this puppy. I just carried it around in an old hard drive bag for like four months. I wrapped certain pieces in a t-shirt. Not the best solution. I had to really dig into the bag to reach anything. There were no compartments. Very inconvenient. Plus, it looks lame. Not gonna work. So now I have an old camera bag case, a useless case. That's a $100 investment right there. A hard drive bag and a few old t-shirts. Hmm. It's time to buy some real camera bags. Only one catch. I don't want to spend a whole lot of dough. So what do I really need? Let's start there. Here's everything I'd want to put into the camera bag. Two things. One, I need a bag with lots of compartments. Two, it needs to handle some serious weight. I did the same thing for my Osmo. Two things. One, second bag can be smaller. Two, the second bag can be lighter. Found a lot of cool bags. If you've looked for camera bags, you know how crazy expensive the nice ones can be. I just don't want to spend that kind of money. And then I found the Amazon Basics DSLR camera bag slash laptop bag. Runs for about 40 bucks, seems to have a lot of dope reviews. A lot of people seem to really, really like it. But is it good? I don't know, figured I'd try it out. I've had this bag for two months now. I've put it through its paces and can I say I love this bag for a few reasons. I dig the compartments for carrying laptops. I don't carry one around at the moment, but I've stuffed any number of things in this place here. It comes with a waterproof bag. I won't use it, but if you're a hiker or a camper, you might. I made sure to get the version with the orange interior. It's easier to see your gear because of the contrast. There are plenty of compartments, all customizable. At first I thought, can this hold all of my stuff? And then I loaded it up. Oh yeah, definitely. I was honestly surprised at how much this thing holds. I mean, it holds my camera with a battery grip plus eight lenses. The top handle stitching and grip, well put together. It's gonna last a while. The dividers feel sturdy. They hold up nicely considering the weight I'm carrying. When my girlfriend first picked this bag up, she thought I was carrying around a dead body. No joke. You'll be surprised all that stuff really adds up. I've stuffed this thing full numerous times till the sides bulge out and the zippers hold up. I'm not a fan of the waist and chest straps on any bag because they look silly, but when you're traveling long distances, these straps really take the weight off your back and shoulders. The one gripe I have, the straps are super long. You end up with these danglies. I tuck them in, they come out. There could have been a better way to deal with these guys. I'm probably just gonna end up cutting them. I also wish this bag had a small quick access pocket on the top near the handle for memory cards or small accessories. This was on my older travel bags and I've gotten spoiled with it. So that's not a real gripe. It's just a wish. Again, this bag goes for about 40 bucks on Amazon right now. This is a steal. For my Osmo, I bought the large g -Raffy. I think that's how you say it. You wouldn't necessarily guess that this is a camera bag. It comes in a few different colors. I got the bright purple interior. Same reason, the contrast, easier to see your gear. This bag is a little smaller than the Amazon bag, only six customizable compartments. We've got quality zippers on this one too. I love the two mesh pockets inside. I use these to carry a lot of my miscellaneous items. I don't think this can handle as much weight as the Amazon bag. The top handle stitching and grip don't feel as secure, but I'm sure this can handle most DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. 
It's made of water resistant material, but it also comes with a rainproof cover. I won't be using it. I haven't torture tested this one quite as much as the Amazon bag because I haven't used the Osmo recently as much, but so far I feel really good about it. This one does not have a laptop section or any other compartments, it's just one main camera section. It does have the two mesh pockets on the sides, which come in handy. Let's be honest, you can never really have enough pockets. But depending on what you're using it for, you may not need anything extra. I would also recommend this bag. Well, those are the two finds I figured I'd share with you guys. I will probably update you guys on how the bags hold up as I keep using them until they literally fall apart because I don't want to be buying camera bags for a while. I will leave links to the bags that I mentioned in the description section. And also, if you guys have any recommendations for camera bags, that aren't super duper expensive, that you think other people might find useful, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Debrut out. They would make a total of six stops on this traverse, collecting samples from large rocks.